in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, a year ago on Pentecost weekend, we began a year of prayer in our diocese. Bishop Fabro invited each one of us to pray during the year for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on our diocese, our families, of parishes and individual families. We are invited to pray, pray for children and youth that they might heed the Lord's invitation. Pray for those who have left faith, slip aside amongst the distractions of the world that Christ may gently lead them back. Pray for each other that we may grow in getting to know each other better and grow in holiness, deepening our commitment to follow Christ. Pray for holy marriages, for vocations to priesthood, religious life, and single life. Pray that we will become more each and every day mission-oriented church forming disciples of Jesus. Today we begin a novena to the Holy Spirit in preparation for the Pentecost Sunday. We recall that event when the apostles with Mary, the mother of Jesus, locked up in the upper room persevering with one mind in prayer, awaited the coming of the Holy Spirit. We are all in our upper rooms, often fearful, not sure what the future brings, looking for what to do next. Faith strengthened by prayer is the way forward, just like the apostles were united with Mary in prayer at the first Pentecost. Responding to the prayer of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the community gathered in the upper room, the Holy Spirit bestowed His gifts on them, working a deep transformation in their lives for the sake of spreading the good news. The year of prayer comes to the end in our diocese. However, we, like Mary and the community gathered in the upper room, will continue to persevere with one mind in prayer, to experience in our own lives the amazing power of the Holy Spirit and His gifts, to rediscover faith, the joy of prayer, the power and the beauty of the Eucharist, sacraments, Word of God, community, translate, translating all this into generous service in the Church's mission. Come Holy Spirit and fill the hearts of your people. Kindle in them the fire of your love. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God. You have forgiven us sins and called us to be your holy people. You send the Holy Spirit upon your apostles and Mary, the mother of Jesus. Grant through her intercession that we may serve you faithfully and by word and example spread the glory of your name throughout the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, today we're starting a novena to the Holy Spirit. These nine days of preparation for the Feast of Pentecost will conclude our year of prayer. A year ago, on Pentecost Sunday, 
our diocese began a year of prayer. We join together in prayer for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit as we seek to carry on the mission entrusted to us to be a missionary church that forms disciples of Jesus. I want to thank you, the people of our diocese, for your participation in this year of prayer and your commitment to it. As we look ahead, we can be confident that this year will bear abundant fruit for our diocese. At the first Pentecost, the Spirit descended on the disciples as tongues of fire. The scriptures tell us that the disciples were fearful, but filled with the Spirit, they went out and boldly proclaimed the resurrection of Jesus. They began speaking in other languages to the people who were from different nations and living in Jerusalem, drawing them to faith in the one true God. In this scripture reading, which we've just listened to, St. Paul speaks to us about baptism. We are from different nations, he says, but we all drink of the one spirit. In the waters of baptism, the spirit gives us a variety of gifts for many services and activities, but these different gifts have one and the same pur purpose, to equip us for this great mission of going out to bring the good news of Jesus to the world. The first Pentecost made this clear. We are people from every nation, every language and culture, but we all thirst for the one spirit. And in baptism, we are all able to drink of the one spirit. This thirsting for the spirit has become evident during the coronavirus pandemic. We've been locked out of our churches. As the government starts easing up on the lockdown, I can tell you that we are now planning for a return to our churches in a way that will be safe and protect us. We are all longing for that day. We're thirsting to celebrate the Eucharist, the Sacrament of Reconciliation, and the other sacraments together in our parish communities. We are longing to drink of the life-giving waters that the Spirit pours out on us. Pentecost teaches us that this thirsting for God is not only true of us, but of all our brothers and sisters, whether they practice a particular religion or no religion at all. Many people today are searching spiritually for something more that will give meaning and purpose to their lives. And this is the great mission that we are taking up in our families of parishes. Through the sacraments, and the many ministries our parishes provide, we form disciples of Jesus. We help our people to discern and use the many gifts that the Spirit pours on us at baptism. We help parents who want to teach their children to know about Jesus. We help our young people to grow strong in their faith. We help one another to go out into our neighborhoods, our communities, our places of work, to witness by our words and actions, the joy of meeting Jesus and drinking of the life-giving waters he offers us. During the days of this novena to the Holy Spirit, I invite you to join with Bishop Dabrowski and me in our prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love. Fill us with the gifts we need to carry on this great mission you have entrusted to us. May this Pentecost be a new beginning for our diocesan church. May we go out boldly as disciples of Jesus to proclaim the gospel to our brothers and sisters. I invite you now to join us in reciting together the prayer for our year of prayer. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and fill the hearts of your people with an ardent desire to follow Jesus, to be his missionary disciples. Fill us with joy and a desire to know your word. May we boldly proclaim the good news to others, for when we help others to know that God loves them, they will know true happiness. Fill us with a deep desire for the Eucharist. May we recognize Jesus in the proclamation of the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. 
For when we are united with Jesus, joy is constantly born anew. Fill us with the true love of neighbor. May we seek opportunities for reconciliation and with big hearts serve those in need. For in serving them, we know we are serving your Son. With the help of the Holy Spirit, may we commit ourselves to loving you and doing your will. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. To God our Father, who sent the Holy Spirit to guide the Church, let us present now with confidence our prayers and intentions. Our response is, send us your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Send us your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Renew the gifts of your Spirit in our lives. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Fill us with the joy of the Spirit in serving you. Send us your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Refresh those burdened with the cares and worries of life. Send us your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Bring peace to the world. Send us your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Help us to discern the ways of the spirit. Send us your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Use our weakness to reflect your forgiveness and power. Send us your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Build up the church, the body of Christ. Send us your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Fill our hearts with an ardent desire to be missionary disciples. Send us your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. For these and all the intentions that we hold in our hearts and minds now, let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon us to be our helper and guide. Give us the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill us with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Christ stay with you always.